Well, joining us now is Julie Dibbins from uh, the UK. I did get that right, eh? Did you get that right? <laughs> that was the first time I think you've ever got it right. How do you spell your name? D-I-B-E-N-S. Oh, so we've been reading off a, uh, a spelling. Uh, so we have a spelling issue, D-I-E-B-E-N-S. Ah. Yeah, so that's why I've been saying Dibbins all these years. But anyway, Julie Dibbins from the UK. Uh, Julie, you've been in the United States for a long time anyway. Uh, you're pretty used to, you know, all these races. And last year you had a great race here right up until the end. Explain what happened. Yeah, I had a fantastic race. Uh, got a lead out of the swim, which I wasn't really expecting. And uh, then just put my head down on the bike and had quite a big lead coming off the bike. I think it was about four minutes. Um, kind of got caught up in the moment and went out on the run, went running way too far fast for the first couple of miles um, and then about mile nine just really hit the wall and uh, started to suffer and then it was just a case of getting to the finish line and Rennie came by me and Sam came by me <laughs> then Leander came by me just before the finish so you're quite exhausted at the finish line so you know what you didn't I mean you left it all out there you know you didn't leave anything in the tank which is you know fairly courageous but uh, would you change anything this year I, my, my game plan's pretty much the same, you know, go out there and race hard from the gun. I will try and pace the run a little bit better and, and try and uh, drink a little bit more on the bike um, and early on the run. Um, but other than that, it's, it's pretty much the same. I've been asking the other girls what they think about the competition. I, I know it's a fairly generic question, but um, when you look at the competition this year as opposed to last year, there's a lot more good swimmers. Yeah. You know, Leander's back again, but Becky Lavelle, um, you've also got Joanna Zyger, yeah. who swims like a madman. Yeah. I mean, she's just, you know, a thrasher. She gets out there and, like you, she leaves it all out there. She um, really goes hard. Uh, you know, Pip Taylor, there's, there's quite a few. Dee Dee Griesbauer, uh, great swimmers there. Do you think that, you know, they'll be able to push the pace with you on the bike or don't worry about them, I'm just going to go do my thing? It, it's a good question. It's something that I have thought about and uh, it definitely changes the dynamics of the race a bit. Um, having the, the lead coming out of the swim that I had last year I think allowed me to get away um, and get the gap that I did on the bike whereas if you come out together they kind of got you in your sights and, and try and stay with you. Um, you know, I, I can't really worry about what they do. Uh, if they stay with me, you know, good on them. Like I'm not going to be biking easy. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, in, in the back of my mind I'm thinking if they do stay with me then hopefully they'll be hurting as much as I will on the run. So that might play into my hands as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, you are my, uh, you are my pick uh, for this race. I, yeah. I have to say. Uh, <laughs> sorry, you're going to have to live up to that right now. Uh, Julie, you had uh, just a phenomenal race again uh, around 10 or 11 days ago um, at Xterra in the World Championship over there in Maui, and uh, you're back-to-back -back, uh, titles now. So two-time Xterra World Champion. Uh, you must feel pretty good about that. Yeah, that was uh, fantastic for me to go back there and, and repeat. Um, you know, it's different going in as an underdog and, and nobody really knowing what to expect, but going in as, as the world champ, you know, the pressure's on. So I, I was really happy to, to repeat and win there again. Um, but I, I kind of feel now that I've won that, the pressure's off a little bit for this one. Um, even though I've said all along that this is the one that I've wanted to win this year. Um, it, it's nice coming in here, having regained my, my world championship Xterra title last, or a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, so that leads me to this question is that, um, you know, you're fairly well-rounded when it comes to that because, you know, if you can, you know, come up from the ITU uh, level, uh, Olympics, you know, World Championships, whatever, uh, Xterra, off-road racing, uh, yeah. triathlon, uh, you know, we've, we've got all the people meeting in the middle here at 70.3 with the Ironman uh, athletes as well. So, I mean, does the, the, the cross-training for you play a, a good, um, you know, hand in all this? I think definitely. I think... Um as you said, I think I'm fairly well-rounded with the three sports. Um, you know, the run, the run is still my weakness, but uh, I've, I've worked on that a lot over the years. Um, and just being able to, to mix it all up, I think, keeps it all interesting, keeps it exciting. And, you know, my enthusiasm for the sport is the same as it was 10 years ago, which, it, which is a big part of it. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, look out for Julie Dibbins on the weekend to get out there and uh, really shake this race up. She is an incredible racer, and I'm looking to uh, see her coming across the line in probably first place, no pressure. That'd be nice. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and uh, Julie will be moving to the United States at the end of this year as well, so uh, big moves for her and hubby, so that's going to be great yeah. news, and I uh, look forward to seeing you more often on the 70.3 circuit. Okay, for Julie Dibbins, I am Greg Welch, saying so long for Ironman.com.